Hi everyone, Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about kids bullying kids and kids bullying adults and stuff like that. So I'm talking about this today because the other day I had an incident at a park. Um, I took my kids to the park yesterday um, and we um, went to visit my dad's grave and we just like we we were kind of just driving around town um in the car because it was too hot to go fishing or do outdoor activities like we normally like to do so for just like 15 minutes we went to a park and the kids kind of played on the equipment and then we were teaching our kids hop hopscotch um because um of course my kids both know what it is and they've played it during recess at school, but we were just testing them and seeing how well they could do it. And my oldest daughter, who's 13, of course, she could do it easily. My son, who's nine, he could do it, but he was kind of getting mixed up in the middle. Um, so for those of you who don't know what hopscotch is, it's uh, uh, like a plate. You, you, you go to a playground and there's like a painted um squares and they count from one to ten and it's a pattern that you're supposed to hop on and um make your two feet land as the pattern is drawn out on the concrete and um that's the best way i know how to describe it but anyway so um usually it goes your two feet land and then you hop one foot hop one foot two feet again hop one foot, hop one foot, and then two feet again. Um, and then, so that's how your feet are supposed to essentially land. Well, we were playing that game and we were having fun, um, but my youngest son that was like, that's nine years old, was like kind of having trouble. So I was teasing him in a pokey, fun type way, not obviously not making fun of him, just laughing with him. And uh, this these two kids were like circling us with their bikes and then one kid as my husband was about ready to um do hopscotch um to show my son um how to to do it um so he could copy him and then try it again the one of the bully kids that was like circling us rode his bike right through the hopscotch game that we are trying to play and it made no sense because I mean you could visually see that we are trying to play a game together and you know we are laughing and having fun and I just don't understand like nowadays do kids not get t taught manners um do they not get taught respect I don't know if they th if I don't know if they thought me and my husband were like just like teenagers um or something like that i don't know what they thought but i looked right that right at the kid and i was like hey hey buddy um why are you doing that to my kids you could have hit my little son with your bike because my little two-year-old was kind of standing in the hot scot hopscotch game and um the little kid was just like looking at me and not talking and so, and the other kid said, no, I wouldn't talk to him. And I was kind of thinking, no, don't talk to him. What's, what's wrong with this kid? And so we, we proceed to just leave the area and go to the playground equipment instead and kind of get away from them. But they followed us. Well, as I'm like following the, as these kids are following us and I'm kind of watching these kids, I'm figuring out that the one boy that drove through was kind of like rather slow and not catching on to things so easily. And I guess that was the other boy that was saying, no, I wouldn't talk to him. I guess that was his stepbrother. Um, and they did apologize. So I decided, you know, to say, you know, it's okay, but you know, next time you want to, you see somebody playing, you can't just ride your bike through. You, it, if you can't pump your brakes fast enough, if that might have been the reason why you went through and didn't stop, you need to yell, excuse me, or 
say, hey, excuse me. And they seemed apologetic. They seemed sad. So, like, feeling bad for what happened. So, um, I offered them a, a soda and they, they said, yes, please. So, obviously, it was unopened and uh, I'm not that kind of person. I would never do anything mean to a child or an adult or anybody for that matter. But I offered them a pop and then after that, everything seemed kind of okay. But, um... The one kid was rather bossy and, you know, um, I just, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on in the world nowadays. Like a lot of people are probably scared to talk to other kids, um, because they're afraid of what the parents are going to do if they find out that you said, Hey, don't do that. Or, Hey, that's not right. But I'm one of those people that I don't really care what the parents think. If I see that your child is doing something wrong. I'm going to, I would never put my hands on anybody else's kids, but I'm sure the hell going to tell them that if something's wrong, I'm, I'm going to notify the kid that, hey, that's not right. We don't do that. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to be one of those people that are afraid to help discipline children in this world just because of um, all the violence that's going on nowadays. Like I said, like people being afraid of the parents having a gun or the parents coming out and wanting to fight you. I'm one of those people that I'd rather have somebody punch me in the face or rather have somebody come and threaten me, um, when I'm out in the world trying to do something that I know is right and help correct these children that are disrespecting people than to sit down and shut up because I'm afraid of, what their parents are going to do. People, we all need to be together. We need to stick together. And if we see that somebody else's kid isn't doing right, it's not one of those things where we kick at new school and just think, oh, that's none of my business. So I'm not going to say anything to that kid. No. If you see your niece, your nephew, your um, friend's kid, or any kid that of a of a child that you don't know doing something wrong like genuinely wrong you need to call them out you need to tell them hey um that's not what you do that's not very nice and instead of doing this we need to do this and do a redirecting um tactic or something you don't have to swear at them you don't have to call them names you don't have to bully them back but I mean, a little bit of correction and redirection is what we need in the world for the kids nowadays because I know that that's part of the reason why um, kids are disrespectful nowadays, you know. And um, I, I, I mean, I've had people discipline my kids before and I've had no problem with it really because um, obviously if they're, if they were being disciplined for something, then they're the kid is doing obviously doing something wrong but like i said there is a difference you don't you don't call the child names um you don't uh what's the word uh there's a word for it you don't you don't you don't be um conniving and um passive aggressive with a child you don't do weird things like that um, I do have a video called Mean Teachers. Um, I made it a few months ago. And um, that's a prime example of what I'm talking about, of what not to do to somebody else's child. Um, you don't do things that are like, you don't, like I said, you don't do sneaky conniving things. You don't push a kid. You don't yell at a kid and call him names. Um, and you don't do any of that. A, to a child that's not yours but giving a little child a hey we don't do that um or hey that's not very nice that doesn't harm anything you know um so I just wanted to bring up that story because we all need to be a team together you know and um we all need to help each other out in this world and I think I did the right thing by letting the kid kids know that we're bullying us, that that's not right. Um, that um, next time if you're going to ride through somebody's game or ride in between people with your bi bicycles to say, excuse me. And then I offered them 
you know, a soda and I offered them, um, you know, do you guys want to come play with, play with us at the play equipment over here? And so, you know, in the end, everything ended up being peaceful and good. And, um, you know, they were sorry and things worked out. But I think that's what we need more of in this world is more adults to redirect children when they see they're not doing good and stop being in fear of somebody coming to fight you or somebody having a gun. Because if, I mean, let's just say, this sounds weird, but let's just say you somebody did come to fight or something like that. At least you know you're, you're, you, you are doing what's right. And if the police need to be called, then the police need to be called. But you're knowing you're, you're in the right. So let's stick together. Let's try harder to get these kids in the world nowadays to see that um, not everybody needs to be disrespected um, and, and people need to be treated, um, you know, with kindness and peace and, um, there and teach them compromising and, um, redirect them, um, if they're doing something that's not good, you know? So, um, that's all with this video, but I will be on with another, another life topic. Thanks.